Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango, November, stroke Papa, QRP. QRP, QRP, station. Oscar, Oscar Hotel, Hotel, number 8, number 8, Sierra, Sierra, Tango, Tango, November, November, stroke Papa, QSL. Hotel Ontario, Hotel 8, Sierra Tango, November, stroke uh, QRP, 5 by 7 in the last, and then my name is Ben, Bravo Echo November. I have my antenna point in the Japan area. Mic to you, please. 100% Ben, the operator name here, Julian, Joliet, Uniform, Lima, India, Alpha, November. We are running a Yezu FT817 at 5 watts, set up with a TP tent near the sea with a vertical antenna qsl roger beautiful julian no problem uh, five watt we, your, your antenna is very good beautiful congratulations five by seven five by eight in the last you are listening to the emergency broadcast systems this station broadcast emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area for those of you reading my blog you may already know about the solar powered field station project well, this is just a short video letting the rest of you know where to find information about the project and what's it all about. The concept of a solar-powered field station isn't necessarily a new one. But it wasn't until the grid-down scenario caused by Hurricane Maria that I realized individual ham radio operators, ham radio clubs, and other groups or organizations needed to become self-reliant with their own field-deployable stations. What I've realized is the time immediately following a disaster, but before emergency crews get on the ground, this is the time when amateur radio operators can step in and fill the gaps. And that's what this solar-powered field station is all about. On November 11th, 2017, I had the opportunity to take the field station out for the first time. I didn't have all the gear that I wanted for the field station, but what I didn't have, I augmented with the gear that I already had on site. I had six goals for this first field test. Firstly, I wanted to get out there and learn to deploy properly my shelter. Next, I wanted to test the low-light capabilities of the Powerfilm FM16-7200. Next, I tested the 5 amp hour A123 lithium iron phosphate battery pack. Naturally, I wanted to get some voice comms in at the same time, so I made voice comms on 40, 20, and 17 meters. Finally, I wanted to test myself, hiking with all the gear packed in my Halti Base 80 backpack, and deploy it in the field on my own, unsupported. Now before I close down this video, I know that many of you are going to say, what's the big deal about deploying a tent and a radio out in the field? First of all, deploying out of a car, deploying man portable are two entirely different things. Next, we're talking about one or two operators carrying everything they need to support themselves and the mission for up to five days. To conserve power, operators are going to need to deal with operating at 20 watts or less, making the most out of our battery capacity and storage. There's also no logistics, so that means nothing like diesel generators or a warm lunch unless you make it yourself. Finally, no one's coming to pull you out of the mud. You need to use your skills and make it work. So the idea of a no context today I'm going home just isn't going to cut it. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of the video. You can find more information about this project on OscarHotel8SierraTangoNovember.org. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Alright guys, rock and roll. Ciao.